it's happening. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol NNOX, Nano X Imaging. So this is a company that we profile here on the channel when it first went public. So if you didn't watch that video, I'm gonna hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out. In that video, we kind of cover the, the company, cover their product, cover you now maybe the issue that their company was actually addressing in the marketplace with their product. And I give you guys my opinion and um, you know, kind of a price baseline as to whether that was a buy or a wait. So if you didn't watch that video again, like I said, I'm gonna hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out. But today I want to give you guys an update as to what has happened since this company went public. There is a specific data I want you to circle on your calendar so you can keep an eye on this particular stock. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So if you guys remember very well, again, we did a profile of this company in detail, really took a look at their, their product, a look at their solution and the groundbreaking changes that they were bringing to the x-ray industry again just a recap of what they do they're trying to build a technology that replaces our current x-ray systems that are so cumbersome and expensive and people have to travel miles to go get x-rays they're trying to really uh, slim down the machines and make it affordable to a lot of people one of the key things that I really love about the company is their business model not only are they gonna build these machines but they want to build it and put it more so as a subscription base where people they, they provide the machines to you for free and then you pay per scan so if you own let's say a hospital they would bring the machine and install it in the hospital and you just charge say about fifty dollars per scan which i think is super super smart so that way uh, they make more money as they get more people as, as opposed to just selling one machine and then moving on in this case they have that subscription base which is uh recurring uh you no know, revenue for the company which i personally enjoy and I, I love that particular approach. So that's not what we're gonna talk about today. Um, if you notice, when, that, when this company first went public, um, the stock skyrocketed up to about $60 a share, which was ridiculous. Um, and then short sellers came in and compared the company to Terranos or Nikola. And if you understand the stock market, understand the space of startup companies, you know that Terranos is a very bad example. Like nobody wants to be compared to Terranos. If you don't, if you don't know anything about Terranos, please just Google Terranos and read a little bit about the company and what happened. So, so that this way you can get some more context. So short sellers actually compared Nano X imaging to Terranos and the stock just plummeted. Uh, went from that $60 and dropped all the way down to about $23. But for some of us that had invested in the company to me as it was dropping I just kept buying more adding to my position because I did understand that this is a company that has a future the technology is there the guy that started nano X imaging as in a has a reputation of studying good companies so if you think about the uh, wireless charges that we have today um, that was part of his creation so he worked on that so I did trust the guy I don't think somebody with that kind of a reputation who just put stuff out there and really ruin their reputation. So that was the risk I was taking because I was trusting that the CEO of the company has this good reputation, which I don't think he wants to tarnish. Moving forward, um, after the shut sellers came out and attacked the company, um, you know, most people kept saying like, oh, maybe this is the end of Nano X Imaging. Uh, some of us, I didn't think this was the end. I knew there was still a future there, so I, I just kept buying um, as it went down. So. Um, after that, when the short sellers said, you know, they were comparing them to Nano X Imaging, the CEO came out and said he was going to do a live demo of the product. That is, I mean, he took a scan. Like, you guys want to ruin my company in, in saying that the product that we're working on is not real. It doesn't exist. It's a fake product. We're just trying to explore the market and make money. Watch this. We are going to do a live demo so the entire world can see us live demoing this project. 
and then that's how the price of the stock really kind of re met some support and then started building back up so since then the price of the stock has actually um, gone from a low of about uh, 23 dollars to now trading close to about um, 44 dollars and some change so this is this is excellent also uh, for for you that didn't get into this stock i think there's still a potential here but circle this date thursday december 3rd 2020 at 11 a.m eastern this date is very very important the reason why this date is super important is because on this day, this is when they're going to do that live demo. And so this could make or break the company. If this live demo doesn't work as people would expect or they don't see the product working, the stock price of the stock is going to collapse. And I'm telling you guys this because I currently own a ton of shares in this company right now. So um, what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a stop loss right there. So if the price starts dropping, I can get out. So if it drops back down, I can always get back in. But at the same time, um, since I already have a position in there, if that demo comes out and it's fantastic, I'm gonna be great because the price is gonna go up. But again, if they do this live demo, my anticipation that if it works as expected, if people see the demo, see the product working, then we're looking more so from not just $54 and some change right now, this thing would hit $70 plus, just like that, a snap of a finger. So that is my price tag. And again, guys, I'm saying this based on my own research. So it's not, I'm not looking at any analysts that said it. This is my own research because I've been following the stock quite a bit. So if you look at it again, if this demo come out and and it's perfect look at that price tag to move to about 70 75 dollars and if it comes out and suck this thing might pull all the way back to my maybe 20 dollars so it's not all uh you know good here if the, the thing doesn't work out as expected so that's my personal take and again i just wanted to share this news with you guys again um nano x imaging has a future the product is really good but again we still want to see uh, a live demo because you guys know exactly what happened with uh, Nikola when they proved that the demo that they showed with one of their semi trucks wasn't actually a semi truck driving itself propelling itself it was actually going downhill and they edited the video to make to to make it look as if it was driving on on level ground and actually propelling itself so that's something that you want to be careful of because um, it is a difference between actually showing a product that's working and telling people about a concept. You can sell a concept, and if people know it's a concept, then they know they're taking the risk buying the concept. But if you tell people you're selling a product, and people think that you have the product which you don't really have, that's dangerous, because that's exactly what happened with Terranos, because they were saying that they had the product that was working with their nanotubes, that you can actually extract blood and test, do run almost 200 tests just from a finger prick of blood, and that the machines were able to do that, which those machines had nothing uh, you know, compared to even the current machines that are out there in the marketplace. They couldn't even compare to those machines that are out there in the marketplace. So that was a very risky move. A ton of investors, the company was actually valued at $9 billion and it just came crashing. So if Nano X doesn't come out on this day, again, like I said, guys, I want you to settle this date on your calendar. Thursday, December 3rd. 2020 at 11 a.m. Eastern. If you own this stock in your portfolio, you want to watch this and watch it very carefully because it can make or break this particular stock. I'm hoping that it makes the stock just because uh, I'm biased. I have I have some shares in the in the company. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think? Are you excited about the fact that they're going to do this demo and prove to all the short sellers that? This company is for real or are you worried that they might not be able to do it or it might fail and drive the price of the stock down? Uh, let me know again in the comment section. Again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, don't hesitate to smash that like button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, guys, we both currently doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stocks just for signing up and depositing that $100. You get free stock, I get a free stock. That's what helps me keep the content on the channel going. And as always, guys, do your homework, don't be a greedy savage, and stay motivated.